guys, uh, welcome back to another Meals of the Week video. Um, so tonight I'm going to make a just a really quick risotto, um, if you can kind of class risotto as quick. What I mean by that is it's just uh, with really simple ingredients. So I'm going to use um, seven sides of the risotto rice, it's eight points per person, that's for 75 grams when dry. Um, I'm basically going to do a ham and pea risotto. So I bought this ham uh, quite a while ago and it's been in the freezer and I've had it out for a couple of hours to defrost. So I'm just going to chop that up um, and kind of like pan fry it, I guess, um, and then probably take it out and then put it back into the risotto later. So um, I've had a look and I'm going to allow two points uh, per person the amount of ham that's in there. Um, I'm going to put in some garlic, we've got some onion, and then we had um, a tiny bit of the Grana Padano left just there. Um, I've just weighed it out so there's another two points worth of the Grana Padano per person um, which makes this 12 points in total I'm also going to add in some peas um, you obviously don't get a point back because they're not a non-starchy vegetable and technically you are meant to point them but I never do um, very naughty like that but yeah, that's going to be our dinner for this evening oh and chicken stock as well obviously chicken stock because that's the whole idea with risotto um, and yeah I'm going to get this cooking and I'll show you it when it's all done Hi guys, uh, so for dinner this evening, um, Chris has actually picked up a Costa um, Too Good To Go bag on his way home tonight. Um, let's have a look inside. So it's three sandwiches and two croissants. Uh, we think one is an almond croissant and one is just a plain croissant. Um, but yeah, I've just had a scan of these sandwiches. So it's nine points for the egg and watercress, nine points for the prawn mayonnaise and seven points for the ham and mustard. Um, I don't eat prawns, so I won't be having that one. Uh, egg also would not be my my choice oh, Chris Chris decided he's having that one though but I do um I would have this one so I'm gonna have this one um for seven points and um I've also put some fries into the air fry just like Tesco french fries um so I'm just cooking up some of those and now five points of those on the side so that'll take it to 12 points all together um I've got nothing to have like on the side with it to get like a point back for veg but it is what it is tonight we're just gonna have um sandwiches and chips and that's gonna be our dinner for this evening so I'll show you when it's all done Uh, so for dinner tonight I think these dinners are getting progressively worse <laughs> during the week um, so I actually ate lunch really late um, so I'm not that hungry it's about quarter past seven so I'm just gonna have one of these uh, Warburton soft pitters so these are four points for the wholemeal ones I've just got it in the toaster now and I'm gonna fill it with some of this reduced fat hummus um, I think it's roughly off the top of my head about 38 grams of this is two points um but i'll need to double check that and then i'm going to cut up 100 grams of cucumber pop that in with the pizza um and that's going to be the main part of my uh dinner for this evening basically It'll be six points all together with one point back for the cucumbers and then chris has also come home with these um so these i have just put into the uh scanner four of these well they're basically four points each so i'm just going to have a couple um obviously use some of my weeklies and have some of these Halloween profiteroles and that's going to be my dinner for this evening um everyone else already yet so um yeah I will show you it when it's all done hi guys uh, so for dinner tonight I am making tacos um it's not going to be like your average kind of tacos well it is but I'm going to put some veg in with it as well basically so I'm going to use three points worth of mint, which I kind of found out recently. So it's 115 grams of mint, is three points. Normally, well, forever, I've been pointing 125 grams of seven for four points. So by, yeah, you can call it cheating if you want, but by not having that extra 10 grams, um, I basically saved myself a point. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have three points worth of the steak mint. These are taco shells, these are two points each. Um, so I probably have, probably have three of those for six points. Um, and then I'm gonna pop some spinach in to cook with the steak mint. Sorry, I'm shouting because the washing machine is on its like final spin. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop a portion of spinach in with the steak mint just to kind of make it go a bit further with an onion. The tomatoes are just for the topping afterwards. And I did also buy a pepper to kind of go in with the um, onion, spinach and steak as well. Um, yeah, I think just obviously uh, bulk it out a little bit and then you can obviously have less mints. And then for topping, we've got the sour cream topping. 
which again I didn't realize it wasn't actually that bad in points at all um, so I think well per seven it's only one point uh, but you can have slightly more than 20 grams I think it's up to about 25 grams for one point so that's what I'm gonna do um, so yeah that's gonna be our dinner for this evening I'm just gonna use half the mint and I'm gonna pop the rest away in the freezer for another day and yeah show you when it's finished Hi guys, uh, so for dinner this evening, uh, we have got some pork medallions topped with apple and cheese. Um, it's actually really tasty, don't knock it until you've tried it. Normally um, we would use apple sauce, but we didn't have any, so I've just literally chopped up and softened some apples. Um, so it's three points for my pork medallion. Um, obviously the apples are zero, and I've got the 50 cent uh, less fat cheese, which is why mine's not really melted. Um, but if you had the full fat cheese, it would look a bit more like that. So um, it would be five points for my pork. I've then got five points worth of potato. These were just uh, like baby potatoes, which I parboiled. Then let them cool down. I could chop them up and just pop them into the air fryer just to crisp up, just to crisp up like uh, kind of chip things. And then we've got some veg on the side as well. Oh, and we've also got some gravy for anyone who wants it uh, just for the vegetables there. So that's going to be our dinner for this evening. Uh, it's nine points altogether because I get one point back for the veg. Um, and yeah, I'll probably have a little bit of gravy, so I'll just call it 10 points. Hi guys, uh, so for dinner tonight, I am just going to do a uh, quick Mayflower uh, curry sauce. This is the extra hot one that we have because it's just me and Chris that's going to be having it. Um, in kind of a bid not to have a Chinese takeaway, basically. Um, I'm going to cook off some uh, basmati whole grain rice. I don't have time today to do uh, egg fried rice, so we just have the plain basmati rice. So we normally do about six points of the rice. Um, I'm going to pop in an onion. I've got some peas in the freezer. I'm going to throw in these mushrooms as well, um, just because they're pre -trained. Chopped, um, so it'd be really easy and obviously get a point back for the mushrooms. There will be a lot of mushrooms, uh, but it's fine because I'll probably do then slightly less chicken in it to be honest. I'll just do one breast between um, the two of us. So for the Mayflower curry sauce, we have extra sauce, so I allow five points for my portion of the sauce. The one point back for the mushrooms like i said the chicken is free on my plan um if not you would obviously have to point it and then i'll do six points for the rice i have shown this so many times on my channel um yeah you know what you do add add water and stir can't go wrong so um i will show you it when it's all done